Hi there. Mm, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. Because let me tell you, there is no way I would have been able to join you for a walk today. I am bone tired. <laughs> like so exhausted. Uh, but it's a, it's a marvelous exhausted. Even though it was a chemo week uh, this week. Uh, joy, joy won out. Hmm. Um, mm. Last week we were catching up and I think, uh, oh, I shared with you that this week was, uh, um, it was a big week this week. Total cancer roller coaster. Uh, Monday, as you know, um, because we uh, chatted, that I was going in um, to have my two year, two year celebration with my liver uh, surgery team. Uh, two years ago, that man, Dr. McDreamy, I love my liver surgeon. I love his, his right hand, her name is Jessica. They're just so unlike any, like the relationship that you would normally would have with a surgeon. Um, they don't disappear. They never have. They, you know, uh, um, they're so lockstep with me involved in, in my treatment um, that it's just, you know, that shit's important. So I went, uh, there is a pastry shop in, um, in Chicago that is called Sweet Mandy Bees. Uh, they make awesome cupcakes. You know, the funny thing is, like, we talk about this pastry tour that I go around, right? I go around Chicago, uh, find a really cool pastry shop and pick up uh, baked goods to take to my uh, nursing team and, you know, medical team, all those that are supporting me. You know, I never eat any of those pastries. <laughs> I just live vicariously through them. I have so much fun picking out the fun stuff. Um, so this week, Monday, I found Sweet Mandy Bees. I picked up um, pastries for them and uh, we went and celebrated and it was amazing. The, they give you so much support so much support that it's uh it's an honor to be able to to bring a smile to their day and we had a lot to celebrate you know i always say i have to stay alive to keep up with the science and uh this particular liver surgery this three-step liver surgery that that i had that saved my life or extended my life um didn't exist a few years ago my brilliant surgeon came up with it, and so thank goodness, uh, right? Stay alive to keep up the science. Anyways, it was wonderful. Started off on Monday, we celebrated, and uh, we also had the review of um, my MRIs and CT scans. As I just told you, my uh, liver is still clean. They still... Uh, nothing came back one year of nothing coming back. This this is exciting because this is giving me a fighting chance, right? If the cancer goes uh, from the lungs and recedes itself back into the liver, I'm fucked. <laughs> so far, so good. Mm, the colon is still clean, but we knew that because um, remember I had a colonoscopy just a little bit ago. Uh, yeah. Her lungs grew. Um, we're considering a stable disease. It's the nodules grew on chemo. Hmm. So that did, um, uh, put a little damper on our party, but, uh, But all that meant is that I spent um, the next couple of days after uh, that appointment making tons of phone calls and tons of plans. And uh, Gabby and I are heading this week to uh, Sloan Kettering in New York. And we have an appointment uh, on Thursday. 
Uh, I'm really, really excited for uh, the doctor that we're going to see in New York because he um, he's the chief of colorectal cancer. Uh, but reading about him, he's he's like my doctor, my dream. He's like my liver surgeon, right? Most of my interactions with oncology, you know, if you want to talk about nutrition or, or any holistic approach in addition to your treatment, they just send you elsewhere. They just don't because, and then that's totally reasonable. Like their specialty is that particular treatment. So that's fine. Right. Um, but this guy, uh, he's done, there's like, there's like 80 trials or something out of, out of Sloan Kettering, but there's so many of them based on exercise, nutrition, uh, um, foods and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, which is, it's just the like mindset. So I'm, I'm really excited, even though it's scary. Cause we're looking for like the Hail Mary. Um, So definitely stressful, uh, definitely a bummer. Uh, and if you had talked to me earlier in the week, I probably would have been a little more sad and freaked out by this um, because of course I am. But as I said, joy went out this week because uh, mm, two of my favorite humans in the world. Three, sorry, Rasham. <laughs> but two of my favorite humans in the world, uh, their names are Robin and Michael. They're really good friends of mine. Um, we built a company together. We built a culture together. And I mean from scratch. There was like a handful of us from the beginning. So so we... <laughs> this, this, these, these, like... I love them. They're amazing humans and we are so uh, enjoy each other's company in addition to the fact that we worked really well together and we spent 24-7 um, together, seven days a week, you know, like like for years building this company to the point like my wife used to <laughs> put me on uh, <laughs> timeouts uh rob and i weren't allowed to talk uh, after one o'clock in the morning and um blah blah anyways two of my favorite humans in the world we're coming to chicago robin lives in new york now and Bo lives uh, michael lives in, in montreal and so they they had reasons to come uh to chicago and and even though this is a chemo week really depressing news on monday chemo on tuesday I had reason to to rally and I put my dancing shoes on uh, on Friday and I met up with my friends and we, I mean, the reason I cannot move, <laughs> and I'm not kidding, it's so, oh my God, I'm so, so tired, so sore because I met up with these guys and we uh, did tour of Chicago. We wandered around. We, we did an architectural boat tour and, and we just spent the entire Friday together. Uh, uh, it was just... When I was diagnosed, uh, Michael is one of the sweetest sweetest folks and he's very much like myself he, he recognizes human behavior and he sees um, things happen before you know others do um, both of them were uh, very awesome when I was diagnosed and both of them are awesome right now celebrating the fact that I do you know what we did yesterday? So Friday, I got together with them. We we did downtown Chicago and, and like touristy stuff. And then yesterday, I was like, well, I'm rallying. I'm going to do it. And we got together and we explored again. Uh, we went to Pilsen, which is uh, predominantly a Mexican uh, neighborhood uh, to to do a, like a taco tour. Um, we walked. We walked from one neighborhood to another, which was like three and a half miles dancing, laughing, uh, exploring. Ah, it was just, I am 
so incredibly grateful for the timing of that because, um, yeah, after chemo, I just decided, um, and I'm doing this until Tuesday. I'm, Most likely, uh, we're talking about radiation, uh, other things, which is really scary for me. Um, I don't know why with all the surgeries that I've had, right? But I feel like that when we get into radiation and, and uh, uh, surgery of the lungs, you know, your lungs don't grow back. Your liver does. So, I don't know, just uh, like... It scares me. I, 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 I've blocked this. Uh, I've seen it. It's ugly. So, so I've decided that I celebrated with my friends. Today I'm recovering and I'm spending the next two days uh, just pretending I don't have cancer and having fun and checking out, really, because I think this next... This next uh, endeavor in cancer is going to be rough. Mm. But for today, for today, I'm just so incredibly happy to have been able to, to celebrate with my friends. Mm. The rest of the day, the rest of the day is bubble baths and graphic novels and movies and because uh, I seriously am not sure I'm going to be able to get up from my lovely outdoor uh, <laughs> patio. Mm. All right. Well, I will let you go. Thank you for coming by. I greatly appreciate you hanging out. I, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a ring next week. We'll, we'll chat. Big week. Um, lots of appointments through the, through the week. But in our fashion, we have also decided that we're flying into New York on Wednesday. Uh, I have an appointment on Thursday at Sloan Kettering, and then we're going to stay through Sunday. My wife and I love New York. Uh, we were... Um, we were looking at a, um, a one-bedroom in Manhattan uh, before I got diagnosed. It's weird seeing my friends. It's reminded me a lot of the time um, pre-diagnosed, like where I was at, and I haven't really explored that or thought about that at all. But like Michael just came back from um, hiking in Italy, and uh, it made me think about um, when I was diagnosed. I uh, I was renting an apartment in Spain. I was going to Spain for three months. And I was doing a deep dive in language and food. And and at the same time, we were also uh, looking at uh, some place in uh, New York because we were going to spend our time in New York, Chicago, and Jackson Hole. Um, so we're going to enjoy New York. We're going to celebrate uh, my wife's knee, celebrate us making it back to New York, and hopefully celebrate some good news mm. Mm. Well. All right. enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>